All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So first things first, uh, I know I probably look a little crazy. I was actually at UCF Jaguars wedding last night, was a groomsman in it. Just so much fun, right? Totally, totally awesome. So happy for him. So, so happy for everybody involved. Um, just such a great night. I ended up not getting back until super, super late. But uh, what, what's super cool about me and Dalton, we actually became friends through YouTube. Like we both had channels. We both lived in Florida and ended up randomly meeting up in Orlando to film a collab video. I want to say like five years ago now, like it's been a while. And since then, we've just been like best friends. So it was just awesome to, you know, be there and kind of, you know, share that moment with him and his family. It's just so cool. So cool. But in this one, I wanted to talk about some Jets news that came out earlier this morning. Ian Rappaport, Mike Garofalo, both of the NFL Network, reported that we could see Zach Wilson start again. He could start again this Sunday at Seattle. And obviously, you know, whenever you're talking about the Seattle Seahawks, you're talking about the 12th man, that stadium. That's a very, very difficult place to play, especially this time of year. And also factor in on top of that, this, that the Seahawks are a good football team this season. Geno Smith playing out of his mind. We all know the story of the Seattle Seahawks. Pete Carroll, I mean, that team is just doing really, really good, exceeding expectations, um, you know, by tons of people's standards. But here's the deal. Mike White could still not be cleared. He's going to be uh, obviously still dealing with the three uh, fractured ribs and is going to be uh, uh, doing further testing on Monday uh, or further scan, sorry, on Monday to kind of see where he stands. And there's a chance that he could not clear. Now, it's looking like the Jets and Robert Sala, they're, they're, they're planning on starting Mike White, but it all, I mean, that was the case, what, last week? Um, so right now, it's like, I just feel like it's completely up in the air. You know, if Mike White isn't cleared to go, Yes, of course, there's more time to uh, prepare for Seattle, more time to, you know, put together a game plan because of, you know, uh, the, the Jags game being on Thursday night, us having 10 days to prepare. And, and you know, as much um, as much as it's just sucks, I'm just going to be honest, as much as it sucks to go winless in December um, and, and to like completely shoot ourselves in the foot multiple, multiple times throughout these past couple of weeks or sorry, last four weeks. Uh, the Jets, crazy enough, are still mathematically alive in the playoff race. So, of course, they're going to have to win out. I'm not just looking at this game as, you know, just uh, whatever. It is what it is. Season's over. I want the Jets to go out there and give it their all. You know, even if the Jets were um, mathematically eliminated, I want this young team to play hard for Salah, right? Look at how the Lions played last season for Dan Campbell when the Lions were out of it, right? That season was over quick, uh, record wise, right? Mathematically speaking. And the Lions were giving teams, they were pushing teams right to the very end. And uh, that's kind of what I want this Jets team to look like. But going back to the quarterback position here, my, if Mike White can't go, it's looking like it's going to be Zach Wilson again. And here's my thinking. And I just posted a video uh, uh, on this topic yesterday, kind of my three points to focus on for the remaining two games. <sighs> I think if I was running the Jets, I would shut Zach Wilson down. It's not uh, kind of a similar situation to like what you would see with a pitcher in baseball. Not so much because of an injury or, you know, risk of injury or something like that. But more so, you know, you look at Zach Wilson, you obviously can wa watch the games. He's not getting it done. You look at the numbers, he's not getting it done statistically speaking as well. When you start analyzing Wilson and, and you start asking the question, what is going wrong? What are the problems? Is it 100% on Zach? No, but he's a big reason why the offense has not moved, right? We've seen the offense move with Joe Flacco this season, with Mike White, obviously, even with Chris Strebler, at least the offense was moving the chains, uh, moving the chains. And, and of course, you know, you can make the argument, hey, you know what? The defense didn't prepare for Strebler. And they were doing things that Zach Wilson was not doing uh, as far as like play calls and whatnot. I get that point. But the fact remains the same. Zach Wilson at times this season has looked like the worst quarterback in football. At times he's looked like a backup. And, you know, when I say at times, I hate to say it, but it's like the majority, right? The majority of what we've seen from Zach Wilson this season, to me, he just looks raw. He looks underdeveloped. He doesn't look like he's ready to play. And... 
it sucks. It sucks because he was the second overall pick. Um, but going back to this week, I think if I was Robert Sala, if I was Joe Douglas, whoever is in charge of making this, deci it, uh, making this decision, I'm going back to the initial plan. Zach Wilson cannot fix his confidence. He can't fix his mechanics in 10 days, nine days now, what, eight, nine days now? I don't even know what day it is. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, today's Saturday. So, you know, coming off two performances where you just have Zach Wilson struggling and the, you know, the, the, the issues are evident. I think to me, it's just a risky move to roll him back out there again. I think, I don't want to say you're setting yourself up for failure, but it's almost like, what are you really expecting from Zach Wilson? Are, are these problems going to be fixed? Are they, are, do, does Mike LaFleur have, you know, a remedy for the, all these issues? Clearly not because these issues have been going on since his rookie year. And I actually said this in the video. I, I think I did either yesterday or the recap video. Unfortunately, Zach Wilson looks like the same quarterback that trotted out on the field against Carolina in Carolina last week in week one. He just looks like the same quarterback underdeveloped. He doesn't look like he's taking, uh, he's taking steps in the right direction, uh, as far as growth. Right. And, um, it's unfortunate, but to me, I just don't know if it's the smartest decision to roll him back out there against a really good team in Seattle, hectic crowd in December. I just don't know. I, I think I would feel more comfortable with Chris Strebler. And, you know, going back to the initial plan or, you know, obviously Mike White, but going back to the initial plan, which was putting Zach Wilson on ice, letting him kind of get right by himself, getting the pressure off of him and just shutting him down for the season. Then you enter the offseason, you have months and months to work on the problems, to watch film, to you know meet with Beck, to do all these uh, different things, big and small, to get back on the right track, to try to fix what's going wrong. But I think just playing him week to week like this, just randomly, is not going to do Zach any good. Um, if anything, I, I mean, is it possible that he's he, that he you know can go out there and have a good game? Of course, of course. But I feel like the chances of that actually happening are slim, given where we uh, where we're at in the season. Looking at you know some of the play calls with Michael Four have, have just been flat out awful. Looking at the offensive line play past two weeks, just being ripped apart, ripped apart. Um, you, so I, I just feel like it's a tough situation for Zach to be in. And I know he's the second overall pick. I know he's supposed to really put the team on his back and really charge this thing forward, but that's just not the reality. So I think if I'm the Jets, I would, I would rethink this. I don't, and I'm not saying I don't want to see Zach out there because I don't like him. I'm just saying, I don't want to see Zach out there because I don't know if it would be the smartest decision for the team and himself. I think it would be a, a wise choice to put Wilson on ice for both parties involved, not just the team. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go hey, he's one of, he's my He's one of my groomsmen, one of my best friends in life through YouTube. Through YouTube, man. That's sick. Oh, it was such a, it was such a great time. Thank you for coming, bro. Thanks for having me. Dude, man. you are the man. Go Jags. As, go Jets. And as always, go Jets.